everybody. I'm walking around one of the uh, two lakes here in Irvine, and uh, um, I'm gonna go up and around, and then back around. And there's another lake. I think it's on. I think it's up there. Another lake. So I may go up and do both. I'm doing a little urban hiking. I wanted to share with you guys something that happened yesterday that was kind of fun. So I was down in Hong Kong. So I was down here yesterday. I'm spending just about every weekend now down here in Irvine and starting to also Greater Orange County. Yesterday I was in Newport Beach for the evening. But I came down here yesterday for a particular purpose. I wanted to try out my daughter's um, commute from school, home to school from a walking perspective. So I decided I would just walk, go, go park near where we're going to live and, and walk. Because it's, it's close to the school, but it's still, you know, it's not super close. Um, and I wanted to see how long it would take. And uh, she's still ride a bicycle. We, we, we're still working that out, but well, I'll tell you about that. So I, I took off and I, I walked, and it took 50 minutes for me to walk. So it's a long walk. And then I found somebody when I got to the school. I found someone to an, uh, someone, a staff member who was on campus, and I asked them, and they said that uh, lots of kids. I asked them about bicycling, and they said lots of kids ride bicycles school to school. So a 50-minute bicycle ride, it's all flat, will be a, a relatively easy. Uh, um, uh, bicycle. I mean, 50-minute walk will be a relatively easy bicycle ride. So that that worked out. That was okay, and it was on uh, nice bike trails the whole way. And like I said, perfectly flat. This is this part of Orange County is all flat. You can see some mountains off there in the distance, and then the uh, sea. Newport Beach is over that way, and then Laguna Beach over there. About a 15-minute uh, drive away to the beach. So, but what was interesting was that as I was walking back. It's the weekend, and we have in the United States, we have things called open houses. I don't know. I never saw this in Japan. Um, so I don't know how about other nations. I'm sure, probably, I imagine they have it in Canada. And open houses where a realtor um, opens, flings open the door to a home so that prospective buyers can come and have a look-see. Uh, any of you old enough to remember the term looky-loos? I'm sure Molly remembers that one. And so the looky-loos can come and see. But I, I, I passed a number of those yesterday as I was walking back from the school to the place we planned to live. And this was in a neighborhood where we had wanted to live, but there are no apartments there. It's all houses and townhomes and stuff we can't afford. And so I we never even considered, even though it's a really convenient for everything, very close to the school, really close to all, all the other amenities, I mean, within walking distance to everything. So I saw one of the, I passed a lot of those open house signs. The realtors put the signs out there. It says open house, and then the name of the realtor, and then arrows, kind of like garage sale things. And I saw the one, and the realtor's name was Japanese. And I thought, hmm, I'm going to take a chance. So I started following the signs. I'm talking to my wife the whole time, because she's experiencing this with me as I'm doing this. Every weekend I'm down here on Saturdays, because Sunday is free for her. I can't do it today. She's working today. But, um, oh, hi. I think that's a... Is that a coot? Anyway, so um, she's with me, and I said, hey, I'm going to go check out this out. And I took a photograph, and she was with me, Yumiko was with me. And I got there, and it turned out that the realtor, I was there for ulterior motives. I really wasn't there to see the house, the place. I just no way I could afford that place. I mean, it was starting, it was $900,000 for the, uh, and it was a townhome. Oh my gosh. And so, yeah, I wasn't, uh, so clearly I wasn't there to see the to, the place I was there to meet the realtor, and I, I didn't want to waste her time, so I, I told her right away. I'm, I'm about my situation. My family's and I are coming from Japan, and we would like to have the help of a, a realtor familiar with the area to help us out in finding uh, a place for us to live. And so she was very warm to the idea, and she was. Uh, my wife uh, laughed at me when I say this. Oh, there's a turtle. See the turtle out there? Oh, my fingers can point that way. And another coot. And she was an authentic Japanese from Japan. She'd been in the United States. She's a real Japanese. <laughs> As opposed to those fake Japanese. She'd been in the United States 15 years. And, uh, uh, and working out of this, out of the Irvine area. And uh, she told me that uh, she had just recently rented one of the, uh, a place in that very, that very community that we were in. Um, at, within our price range. Uh, it was, and it was bigger than what we're after. We're looking for two bedroom places two-bedroom apartments down here, and this was a three-bedroom townhome with a two-car garage um, for actually just a little more than uh, what we were going to pay at the other place. And she, she had just rented that. Now, this is a rental, of course, not a, a purchase. We're a long ways away from buying a home and probably never be able to buy a home here the way prices are here. <clears throat> but, so, um, 
we exchange phone numbers and, uh, and our business cards and email addresses. And our new realtor, uh, Akemi-san, is going to be helping us out, uh, finding just the right place for us to live. Uh, hopefully within um, easy walking distance for my daughter and uh, easy commute distance for me and easy to shopping distance for my wife. And uh, we'll see what happens. A little bit of good news. So I better keep on my way. I'm going to continue up. You can see there's lots of homes along the lake here. There's a bridge that goes over the troubled water. So or, I bet these troubled waters are rarely troubled. I think there's an island. Oh, look, beach volleyball over there. There's people playing beach volleyball. And lots of nice uh, apartment areas over there. Oh, what a great day. And then after this, I'm going to go to the farmer's market and get my week's worth of goodies. Last week I was here, I got a whole week's worth of organic um, fruits, vegetables for 20 bucks. And uh, including these incredible apples and pears that they were like, they were amazing. I've never had anything like it. Ah, yeah, it's a good day. So um, time to continue a good day and continue walking my urban hiking. Talk to you all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.